Hey guys, it's Madame Crufelli, the undead fortune teller. I'm Marlena the Mystic, and today we'll be reviewing Thinner. So today's review is of the movie Thinner, the Stephen King novel converted to a uh, movie. So the movie was rated R, released in 1996. DVD price, uh, last time we checked on Amazon, was $14.36 for the Blu-ray. This movie was directed by Tom Holland and starred Robert John Burke, Joan Montega, Montagna, and Carrie Werner. Nice. This movie is about Billy Halleck played by Robert John Burke, is an obese lawyer who accidentally hits a gypsy with his car after his wife distracts him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm hmm Okay, so I think we both chose the, sh the subgenre of Supernatural for this movie. Uh, we'll start with the plot. I gave the plot a three. Uh, same. Okay, I did like the idea of, like, a fat guy that all his life has been nagged about being fat and then finally starts getting thinner and then it bites him in the ass. True that. Uh, cinematography a three. Same. Acting I gave a two. A little bit of overacting I thought, but not not enough to take away from the movie. The overacting made it deliciously cheesy in parts I thought. Yeah, I gave it a three, but okay. yeah. But, yeah, the, the gypsy girl was a little over the top at times, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, dialogue three. Same. I love the white man from town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Um, scene memorability also gave a three. I gave a four. I was torn with that one. Like, because, like, I saw, like, the fire breathing, I'm like... Yes. <laughs> and the fire juggling. Yeah, and yeah. then, like, there was a gypsy thing, so I was like... Yay, so that, that will move my heart. Yeah, yeah, so. very true. I might have to up that to 3.5. <laughs> uh, special effects, I gave a 4. I liked how they did the uh, the fat man suit, the lizard. They did, they did I thought they did really good. Um, God. I was about the same, 3 or 4, you know. Okay. Uh, creepy imagery, I gave a 3. I gave it a 2. Yeah, there wasn't anything all that creepy. Yeah. But we'll get to the we'll get to the specifics in a bit. We don't want to give any spoilers just yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So death scenes I gave a three. Same. Sound gave a three. Give it two. There wasn't anything super, super memorable with it. Yeah, I don't I don't remember really anything, that's why. Yeah. The beginning the beginning scene with the really cool old cars and the movie and the music and kind of the mist made it set the tone. It was really cool, but other than that, I didn't yeah. really think there was too much. Soundtrack, same thing. I gave a three. Mm -hmm. So I gave two. So overall rating that I gave for this movie was a three out of five. I had two point eight out of five. So over all in all, I like this movie. It reminds me of my my teens when I watched it the first time. Well, mm -hmm. late teens, early twenties, but whatever. We don't need to go there. <laughs> um. So let's get to what we liked and didn't like about this movie. Obviously, it's based off a Stephen King novel, so that already has a big plus in its corner. Mm -hmm. um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And I liked how he had the cameo as the pharmacist. Mm -hmm. he, he, I don't know if it's definitely every movie, but most of his books converted into movies, it seems like he has a cameo. Mm -hmm. So, watch for the pharmacist. Indeed. Um, I loved all the old cars of the Gypsy Caravan. I'm not a car person, I'm not going to pretend to be, but there were some really awesome cars in that beginning caravan scene with the mist and the cool music. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. I kind of set the tone, like, okay, this is this is going to be good. The fire stuff did it for me. I was like, <gasps> I got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they had me a breathing fire. Yes. Um, one thing I noticed stuck out 
when the when he went to see the judge like to find out what if the judge was suffering from anything and talked to the wife the wife's overacting yeah and she's like what did he say to you yeah like she's yeah. at the yard and yeah I, I don't know I, and she looked really familiar I wanted to look up what she was in before too because I know she looked familiar but I couldn't place her but yeah her 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 acting was like silly over the top um and the cop take the gun his scene he was really over the top too he was like take the gun yeah <laughs> so um did you have anything up until then um I the one part you got farther than me, but um, the part where they're at the window and they're talking about the coin and everything. Oh, dirty yeah, old men! Dirty, dirty old, old men! Mm-hmm. Afraid she's gonna hear you. I, I was I was surprised she lifted her skirt all the way up though. Yeah, I'm like you gave him what they wanted. Yeah, so it really doesn't matter if you flip him off. He got what he wanted. Yeah. I had the public service announcement about. Uh, doing things while you're driving. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. I don't even know where to go with that one. Yeah, um, behave while driving. That's not fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you might... Keep your eyes open. The off chance you might run over a gypsy and get cursed. <laughs> yes, always like keep your eyes on the road, regardless of what's going on in your pants. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. um, but where he's... He has a chicken in his mouth, and the nagging wife is all like, "Why can't you just stop eating?" Blah, blah, blah. And then he's he's chewing on this big chicken leg, and all this chicken flying out in the wife's face, and you can see the chicken in her hair. <laughs> I don't remember that. He's like, "I have to eat," and all the chickens flying out of his mouth. I do remember the big like it had been like a ham hock, or it was like this. Yeah, he was, like, that's what he was eating. When he was yeah. eating that, his mouth was full of it, and then he's like face to face with the wife, and she's like, "Ah, la la la." I like when he like flips just like I can eat all I want I'm still lose weight. Mm. There's mm. consequences. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh. oh, and when he's having the dream and the gypsy guesses his weight and he's like, the next week you'll be six pounds lighter, next week you'll be one forty two mm. la 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 la. The dolls that they gave away yeah. were fucking epic. Yeah, I have that I want down, one. Yeah. I want to find one and buy one because they were all fucking awesome. Yeah. Want one. <laughs> if you know where, please let us know. Yes, I'm looking for a thinner doll. <laughs> um, the, the curse of the white man from town. I thought that was creative. I really liked yeah. that. I like when they all started laughing at him. Yeah. That was crazy. It's like, the curse of the white man from town. <laughs> That's when you throw your head back and start laughing. I will get paid more. <laughs> uh, slingshot right through the hands. Yeah, right in the blowhole. Yep. And then you see his eyeball. Epic. Um, I like when he, he when he looked through that hole in his hand. The doctor was fixing it. That was just awesome. Yeah. So that go that's that chops some extra points up for the special effects. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um. I loved when he had the mom jeans with front butt. You remember that when he was in the mm. he was in the fridge. They were, the jeans were obviously too big, and then like he had them like a belt. Oh yes, yes, yes. He had the front butt. Yeah, he did. He did. And that props to the the uh, fat suit people. I yeah, think. yeah. The Criminal Minds actor that was in it. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. It was nice seeing him as a bad guy. Yeah, Joe Montana. Um, there was a special agent, agent Stoner. I think That's he called good. himself Special Agent Stoner. Gypsy Woman's overacting was a little over the top at times. She was all about the screaming crazy woman. And I'm not positive, and I couldn't find it, but I think she is the Doritos chick from back in the 90s. So if someone can confirm that, please let me know, because it's driving me crazy. I can't find it. Um, Her husband... Delicious. They oh my goodness. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. And of course they kill them off. They always kill off eye candy. Always. Mm-hmm. Always, always. But yes, he was delicious. And he breathed fire. Yeah. It's still my heart. He's so, he's so, <laughs> so, so a lot of girls' hearts, I'm sure. Yes. I mean, she she wasn't, she definitely wasn't torture on the eyes either. No, she was, she was nice to look at. Yeah. Um... 
the payback on the husband, but first the acid on the forehead. Yes. That was cool. Yes. Wow. That I liked. Yes. And I, it, it did look kind of funny that when, when she was looking up at it cross-eyed. Yeah, <laughs> It that kind was. of took away from the fearfulness of it because she looked kind of silly. But then again, if you have acid on your forehead, you are going to keep both eyes on it. <laughs> True. So. Yeah, see, I, I just kept rattling off, so I don't know if any of those I hit that you had. Um... I did have the pie. Yes, I, I got something about the pie, too. What did you say about the pie? Um, when he stabbed and threw the Ugh. hole in the hand. You could just feel that. <laughs> yeah, like that's a sensitive spot. You don't want anything like... I remember when I was a little kid and I did a cartwheel once and I happened to like plant my palm right on a rock and like completely just face planted because it hurt so bad. <laughs> So, mm. yeah, that's a sensitive spot. You don't want anything through the hand, and like you, it's right up there with the Achilles heel slashes, like yeah. stuff that just goes through you. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. And when when he does give her the pie, and then she's dead in the bed, and he's like, "It's diet food. Can't eat too much of that." <laughs> I was like, "Yes." Yeah, and when he kissed her, I'm like, "Oh, don't do yeah, it! I don't, I don't know don't why he do did it. it! I didn't understand why he did that." And I'm like, "Okay, is he trying to kill himself because he feels bad?" I'm like, "No," because then he's like, "Nope, can't eat too much of that." So, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Can't too many complex carbs. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I did like how they ended that, like with the little girl eating the pie. Yeah, like, that's what I had didn't, too. I had the sad face. Yeah, he didn't die clean, and then he took his film, and he took his innocent daughter with him. Mm -hmm. So, but all in all, I, I I did really really like this movie. Like there there were cheesy moments. It kind of had like a drag me to hell type of feel at times. Mm -hmm. But I liked it. I liked yeah. cheese. So I would definitely recommend watching it, even though I gave it a three out of five. Mm -hmm. It comes at six to ten, which is way more than halfway. Mm -hmm. So I would say yes, watch this movie. Yes, definitely. Check out this red contact. Isn't that badass? It is. I don't know if you can see it, but she scored a tremendous shirt from Monster Mania. Oh no, let me try to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cute. Camp, Camp life. life. Yes. Taylor Tara. Thank God it's Friday. It is Friday. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, I don't remember the vendor, but he doesn't sell online anyway, so it doesn't do any good. But if you go yeah. to Monster Mania Cherry Hill, you'll probably find him there. Mm -hmm. And he has awesome shirts. Yes, yes. So... That is our review of Thinar. So let us know your thoughts on this movie because we actually liked it. Mm -hmm. yes. so.